Dr. Mori Uncivilized Vitality and a little bit, a uh, little video about rope craft. Just kind of a clarification video. I wanted to talk about um, a knot I've used for years as a temporary lanyard, um, as a tie-off point for my tarps and shelters, and I've seen it creep up a little bit on YouTube lately, uh, generally without a name, but it's called the Newt Hitch, K-N-U-T-E. Uh, there's another popular hitch, K-N-U-T, that's a friction hitch used in, or a friction bend, used in, um, rope climbing and arborist work is kind of a, a wrap around and then cross over twice and then lock into your carabiner. That's a K-N-U-T. I think that's pronounced nut. And I'm talking about the newt hitch, K-N-U-T-E. It's basically, it works like this. You're going to utilize some sort of stopper knot on the end. We'll just zoom in to show you on the, the big rope and then I'll show you some applications. You have any kind of stopper knot on the end, and then you have a, a grommet or a lanyard hole or something you want to affix this rope to. You're going to take a bite of the rope, slide it through the grommet or the, the opening, take the stopper knot and thread that through the bite, and then while the bite's on the other side of that, you pull the knot back down and it will stay trapped. Okay. It's got components of the um, so-called Canadian jam knot, which is an arborist knot, right? Works just like that. And then to get it out, you just would lift up on the bite, take the stopper knot out, and then you pull it free. So I'll show you on a, a tarp down here, because this is where we see it a lot. Okay, so if I have some paracord, and I just have a, any kind of tarp or tie out, I have a grommet here. First thing I do is I make a stopper knot on the end of my paracord. My tie out line could be any kind of stopper knot. I just did a slip stopper knot. Could be a figure of eight, double overhand, um, any any uh, carrick knot, any kind of knot you want. I go back up the standing end of about three or four inches and find a bite. I thread that through my grommet. Okay, so the bite's on the other side of the tarp. I bend that the free end with the stopper knot over and through the bite. And then I pull the line back down so that it is flush and it's trapped from going through the grommet by that stopper knot. With this grommet being so big, I'd need maybe a larger stopper knot there, right, to hold that. But that's how I can tie, I can temporarily attach, just tighten that up, and tighten down so I can tie off my paracord. Then when it's time to release, I just gonna lift, I'm just going to lift up on the, the bite part, slip the stopper knot out, and then pull it right through. Another good application of this newt hitch, a uh, temporary lanyard, is on maybe this small uh, little, I have a little uh, SE candy roux in here. Sometimes one of my, my pocket knives, a little fire starter uh, combo on the back. Maybe I want to dummy cord this in my pocket. Right, I'll take this fold of paracord. We're going to run it through that little eyelet. Just twist and jam it through there until we get a bite on that side. Right, the standing end and the free end with the stopper knot on this side. Tuck that stopper knot through the bite and then pull. Tighten the whole thing up. Dress that knot up. That stopper knot traps that bite from pulling back through and now I've got a great uh, little tied-on lanyard, and I can use this end. Maybe I have to lower my knife down or something. I don't know. It's ridiculous. But I can dummy cord this. When I want it out, I just grab the stopper knot, pull up a little bit, pull that bite back through. Easy peasy. And that's out. So that's the Newt Hitch, K-N-U-T-E. Uh, give us a thumbs up and a like and a share and a subscribe if you found that helpful or at the very least clarifying for some of the knots you see on YouTube sometimes with different names uh, just because people learn them through different applications. And uh, leave in the comments if you know this knot by another name. I like to catalog those things. So that's it. Like, share, subscribe. Check out more Ropecraft.